Seems like uh, nowadays people toss around the whole word of hero pretty lightly. Uh, we we talk about heroes being people that can hit a ball really good or or run particularly fast or what have you. Whatever the case might be, I think it's it's lost a little bit of its gravity. But I want to share just a quick little story with you. And uh, this gentleman here undoubtedly could could. Uh, clarify some of the details. I'm, I'm doing a little bit of this off memory and I'm, I'm probably not the world's best public speaker, so bear with me. I think it's safe to say, courtesy of this gentleman and all of his shipmates, we're free. Some of you may or may not be fully aware of uh, some of the events that led up to the ending of World War II. And there's going to be a lot of opinions floating around. I'm certain I don't want to stir that up. It's not about that. But fairly universally understood that what brought World War II, the war with Japan, to a, a rather abrupt close was the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Now, again, I, I don't mean uh, any offense to anybody that's uh, sensitive to that, but those are just facts. What made that possible? Number one was the uh, ingenuity and uh, perseverance of a lot of engineers and, and designers that put that whole uh, project together. But it would have never, ever happened had it not been for Mr. John Wollaston here and his shipmates on the USS Indianapolis. In Indianapolis made the trip out to Tinian pretty much uh, on the sly. A lot of the, the folks on the boat didn't know what was going on necessarily as far as what their special package was that they were delivering, but they made it there undetected and safely, delivered the bomb that was later dropped on Hiroshima, and then started to make their return. Unfortunately, July the 30th, 1945, Japanese submarine I-58 got lucky, got real lucky and it happened to find the USS Indianapolis and unfortunately sunk her. Two torpedoes, one amidship, one in the bow. The ship only lasted about 12 minutes before she sank. Originally there was uh, just shy of 1,200 men, about 1,196 men on board that ship. As you can imagine, the uh, chaos and the pandemonium that goes on with an event like that some of the men were lost immediately when the ship went down. About 800 or so survived the initial sinking. Many of them were in life jackets, including this gentleman here. Five days they were in the water. I don't know if you're all, all that familiar with the uh, waters in the South Pacific, but uh, not the most friendly place to be hanging out, especially if you have a fear of sharks. So unfortunately, for a number of reasons, of which sharks were a major force of that, many men were uh, taken and lost during their five days at sea. 321 were eventually rescued. Of those 321, 317 actually survived after being picked up out of the water. And Mr. John Wollstone is one of those men. One of 22 surviving USS Indianapolis crewmates that are still alive with us today and one of the, the great men of World War II and somebody that I personally feel we owe an incredible debt of gratitude to, to and a tremendous honor. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's an honor, sir.